Okay, before we get started, I want to talk about why I grow the black seed sunflowers. Now, you can get them at True Leaf Market, but mostly these are used for the microgreens that you can grow to sell in the farmer's markets or whatever. Uh, so if you're going to raise microgreens, black seed sunflowers are what you want to buy. Number two, I buy these for my chickens during the winter time to give them heat, give them a little bit of black seed sunflowers, and it gives them heat to get through the cold parts of the winter. But not only that, you can go down to the feed store and it just ask for, you know, black seed sunflowers, and they have them all the time. But a 50-pound bag is going to cost you about 28 bucks. Well, around here anyhow. You can see where they charge a lot more for these microgreen seeds that are organic. Of course, you're going to pay a premium price for, you know, organic type of seeds. But if you just want black seed sunflowers, go down to your local feed store and ask for a 50-pound bag. Um, it's pretty reasonable. And it, from my experience, you can plant them in the ground. Now, here's a no-no with um, sunflowers. Sunflowers will take toxins out of the soil, including heavy metals. So if you have a highly susceptible plot of ground in your garden where you don't know where stuff came from or you have pesticides and and or you're not sure if this soil contains toxic metals uh, or heavy metals, um, go ahead and plant them. Don't eat the seeds and then pull, when you pull them out, burn the plants, get rid of them somewhere in the backyard somewhere, and do not use them to compost with. But overall, black seed sunflowers are small enough that the birds can swallow them. If you try to grow mammoth sunflower seeds for your chickens, it may not go so well. And this is, you know, black seed sunflowers are a natural feed for animals. Plus, they are also used for microgreens, like I said before. So if you're going to go into the microgreen business, you want the black oil s seeds. Well, folks, this is uh, one of the three sisters things that I planted. Pole beans and sunflowers. And a lot of the sunflowers are starting to fall out now. So I can imagine why the California quail would have been over here feasting. So I'm going to go ahead and clip them off and put them in the bucket down below. There's the bucket, and I'm going to fill it up and we'll see it then. And as you can see here, I'm going to be pulling more beans tomorrow. I pulled about a pound off these a couple days ago. More beans, more beans, and they charlest up the, uh, charlest up the uh, sunflowers, and they're doing great. And they're really starting to produce now. There's a couple of them right there that are really good. But I don't know if you can see that, but there's more over there. and So I'll probably get another pound of beans off this on both sides of this tomorrow. I mostly clipped the, uh, the sunflowers off this Three Sisters now. And uh, some of these, yeah, those are decent. I'll go ahead and cut this one too. Throw it in the bin. We'll be drying these out. Chicken feed next year during the winter. So I got my uh, cucumbers and um, I planted sunflowers everywhere on that, putting them climb up on. It's time to clip these two. Time to clip these two. So uh, you can see right here, those are ready. Those are ready. The sunflowers already formed. If I don't clip them now, they're just going to go ahead and drop to the ground and the quail will get them. So I kind of want these for feed, so they're going to be clipped now. And the, they'll still stay there and the cucumbers will still grow on top of them. So, you know, it's a win-win for me. So I fed the wildlife a little bit. Big deal. You take a look at this and you can see, peel this off, you start seeing all this stuff. Uh, Sunflowers in there, along with the bugs. Here works. Yeah, they're they're done. They're ready to go. If you look at this real closely, you can see that. Yeah, sunflowers are already 
the seeds are already formed. So we're just gonna let it sit in the shed and dry off and there's a few more to clip and then we'll go on to the next part where I got more sunflowers growing to feed for my chickens. So I got a bunch of them by the chicken coop here I need to harvest, especially that big one way in the back. But it's gonna be a good one. But it's ready to start dropping seeds, so I need to pick it right now. And you can see this one right here. That one needs to be picked right now too because it's just gonna go ahead and you know. Well here's my uh har well there's my harvest of uh sunflowers so far from all the beds and stuff that I have sunflowers planted out. Actually I use the sunflowers to grow pole beans on and other stuff. It climbs on it like cucumbers and stuff. And so I'll be harvesting more as soon as they mature within the next month or two before the end of the season. So hopefully I get about 100 pounds of sunflowers. One thing else I was going to mention, um, I do have a link for Two Leaf Market, my affiliate link. And if you would, please click on that first. It's down below in the description box so that I can get a commission off this and it doesn't cost you a dime more. And if you want to help out the channel, please um, click on that. Thank you.